Big Chungus is back. Do you think the Broncos have a better chance than the Chargers to get into the playoffs? Ooh, good question. Um, I still think the Chargers will end up being the better team. I, they, look, they've played, I think, better opponents so far than Denver. I still think Denver, the Raiders, and the Chargers, they're all going to be fighting for a playoff spot. The, the, that AFC West is loaded. So the, the, the difference in the chance... I don't believe is that high, but I do lean towards the Chargers over Denver come the end of the season. Jeff Reed, who takes the rushing title this year? I have to be as boring as possible. I got to say Derrick Henry. I mean, the, the game that he just had this past week, which was what, like 100 and, 100 and something yards, three touchdowns. I mean, he was an absolute monster against Seattle. It's why his nickname is King Henry. Let's go to Matt Productions. Hi, Mitch. How are you? Ah, halfway decent. Richard Sherman won't play anywhere, and Bradley Chubb is mitch missing at least three games. So Bradley Chubb, I believe it said that he's going to be out at least six to eight weeks, so that's going to be uh, something to keep in mind. And then Sherman won't play anywhere. I still think that Sherman is going to end up signing somewhere. I don't know if it's going to be with the Buccaneers, the Saints. It could be Seattle, the 49ers. It's going to be somewhere, but stay tuned because if you're watching this live, my segment's coming up here in just a little bit. If you're looking for great tasting, healthy cereal, look no further than Magic Spoon. Go to magicspoon.com slash chat. $5 off your very first order. I recommend the cinnamon, the frosted, but my absolute favorite is the fruity. From a silly goose, is it already time to make Javante Williams the lead back? Uh, this is, of course, the Denver Broncos running back. I'm not there yet. Um, I think that it's going to be a rotation. Those two players, Williams and Gordon, clearly are going to split time. Williams, so far, does have more carries than Melvin Gordon, 27 to 24. But Gordon has shown more explosiveness. He's got a higher yards per carry. Admittedly, that 70-yard run is, is boosting those averages. 4.0, not bad for a first-time player, so... I think that what the Denver Broncos should do, ride the hot hand. That should be the, the philosophy for Denver at the running back position. So pick an RB1 here for me, folks. Who would you rather have this year only? Not long term. That's the young guy. But right now this year, type JW versus Javante Williams, or for Javante Williams, or MG for Melvin Gordon. Evan Williams, Broncos should trade Drew Locke to the Colts. Thoughts? I mean, I'm guessing you're simply saying this because uh, Carson Wentz has got two sprained ankles and overall it's just an absolute shit show, right? But if there's a quarterback that I think actually makes sense for Indianapolis, it's Nick Foles. Now, that kind of gets a little bit more complicated because Andy Dalton's dealing with an injury, so Foles is now the backup to Justin Fields. But, yeah, the connection with Foles and Frank Wright, that's the route I would go, though I do think that the Broncos should end up moving on from Locke because it looks like Teddy Two Gloves got a lock down. If Drew Locke is traded to the Colts or if any time big time trades like that end up happening, we're gonna keep you guys updated here at Chat Sports. So take a second, look underneath the video, and hit the subscribe button. I don't want you to miss anything. And it's hundred percent free, so it's literally can't get much better than that. Jeff Reed, who's your early rookie of the year? My early rookie of the year. It's probably Mac Jones. He plays quarterback, which is basically the number one position that you know is going to end up winning the position. Zach Wilson's been literally terrible. Trevor Lawrence has got five picks, four touchdowns. He hasn't been very good. Uh, if Justin Fields can turn it on and be like a really just push forward like the back half of the season, we could see that. But I would say right now the early leader is Mac Jones. Evan Hinders says, should the Vikings trade for Josie Jewell from Denver? Uh, no for two reasons. A, Jewel is a starter, so the, the, the Broncos aren't going to trade him. Also, he's out for the year uh, because he tore his pecs. So, no on that one, Evan.